So this week, uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, had their developer summit, and ironically, the Firefox team made an announcement that I wanted to go over and review with you. Hey guys, it's Chris Love, the owner of Love to Dev, and what I want to do is I want to show you how to use the Firefox Nightly to sort of get the or to get the new add to home screen experience that Mozilla is going to be adding to Firefox this year. Now I've got Firefox Nightly installed on my Pixel here, which is an Android device, and this is going to be in Firefox for Android. Um, there's no indication if it's going to come to Firefox for the desktop or not. And of course, we'll, we've still got to wait to see what's going to happen with uh, anything on iOS because everything's basically Safari there. But anyway, so we'll focus on Android and Firefox. But I'm going to launch it. And as you can see, I've got uh, Love to Dev here. And there's this little house icon uh, in the top now. But before I get to that, what I want to do is I want to walk you through how to enable this feature because this is actually hidden behind settings. Now, right now I don't know how they're going to deliver this in the final um, version of Firefox, but you need to go to settings, which you get by hitting the little ellipsis at the top right corner, and then you will need to scroll down to advanced, and then scroll down to the very bottom, and you see down here at the bottom it says experimental features, and you have progressive web apps and a toggle button. Now I did find that I had to uh, kill the Firefox and start it back up to actually trigger the little home thing. Now if you didn't mean to do that, now if you don't see it necessarily, you can actually see what's going on. Um, you can go to, doo -doo -doo, at least I could, maybe it turned it off. Oh yeah, um, let's see. Now that I've got this, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Actually, I took it off. Before that, I had the uh, add to home screen as an option there, but now it's off. And that's now because I've got the little house icon. And the little house icon, if I tap it, we get the uh, add to home screen thing, and I can say add to home screen. And it's going to uh, let me choose the, uh, the tile there. And as you can see over here on the right hand corner, I get the Love to Dev icon on my home screen. Now, it does have the little Firefox Nightly uh, badge icon on top of it. And if you followed any of the conversation around uh, the Progressive Web App add to home screen thing and the, and the whole concept of a web APK and where things are going on Android Oreo, um, this kind of is obvious. Now, I think what's going to have to happen is Firefox. Uh, Opera, Samsung Internet, etc., are going to have to figure out how to do the Web APK thing like the Chrome team is shipping as well. Because you can see I've got Twitter Lite on here as well as Love to Dev, but I uh, added those via Chrome, and those are actually Web APKs. And I'll be going over that in additional videos I got planned for the near future, so you definitely want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those. But if I open up from the icon, the Love to Dev site, you can see it pops open, and there's no browser Chrome to get in the way now. And you can just see that the site works as expected. Hopefully, hopefully, there we go. <laughs> Didn't respond quite the way I wanted to, but anyway. But there's no browser Chrome, and it scrolls nicely. So anyway, it's uh, good to see that Firefox is finally getting the add to home screen functionality in there. Obviously, Chrome's got it. Opera's had it. Samsung's had it. Um, but Firefox didn't have actually have the prompt. They had the ability to do it, but you had to go through the manual steps to do it. So it's good to see them making some progress on this. Now, one difference that the Firefox heuristics have from the traditional progressive web app heuristics are they only require you to be served over HTTPS, which if we go back to Firefox, you'll see that I've got the uh, green padlock up there, and you need to have a valid web manifest file. Now, valid... Uh, has a little ambiguity to it, but basically what that really refers to is you've got to have some minimal fields like the name, uh, the default URL that you want to open up, and probably a minimal set of icons. I have not seen where Firefox says what the minimal set of icons required is, but I do know in Chrome you've got to have at least a 512 by 512 for splash screen, and you've got to have, uh, I think, a 192 by 192 yeah, 
um, at least for the add to home screen, but you're really gonna need a, a wider array. I'll go over those in another video, and obviously I wanna go over those in the progressive web application course that's about to launch, so you definitely want to pay attention to that. And uh, anyway, so this is good news. Hopefully this will help out uh, those of you who are uh, actually using Firefox know that this is coming. I don't know the exact ship date of when this is going to go from nightly over to the actual consumer version of Firefox for Android. Um, but this is good news. Uh, more features there. Plus, it don't require you to have a service worker, which can get you there a little bit quicker. Now, I uh, just want to make sure you know, if you go to lovedev.com slash PWA upgrade, we have a free ebook. Uh, available for you and why you should upgrade to a progressive web app. You All you have to do is uh, give us your email and we'll put you on the email list, which we don't really pester you too much, maybe once every other week or so, um, and uh, give you some updates on new content and resources that we found, especially around progressive web apps. So hopefully you'll sign up for that um, and you'll also be uh, the first to know when the course launches and get a massive discount off the full retail price of the course that's going to be big so you definitely don't want to miss that and if this you find this video useful please hit the like button tell your friends about it and definitely want to subscribe to the youtube channel so you are aware of things like our course dropping and other great content thanks a lot and i hope this uh, helps you out not know how to kill this thing. Hmm.